Ah, uh, my friend. I wish I bore better news. But our paths seem to cross only in times of great crisis. Radha al Saran has re emerged from the shadows. That can only mean one thing. He believes his true goal is at hand. That I have yet to determine. But consider what he's wrought thus far. Harrow storms across western Skyrim to revive the Grey Host. Here, the souls of Markarth reaped to empower the Dark Heart. Both great sacrifices. But I fear worse is yet to come. A good question. Despite your success stopping High King Svargrim and Lady Belaine, the reawakening of the Dark Heart has provided the Dwarven Orrery with a frightening source of power. But to what end? I need your help to ascertain the answer. <clears throat> a moment. Sometimes the intensity of the currents flowing through the darkness can be... <clears throat> overwhelming. There. The Norian reports that Greyhost leaders gather north of Markarth. I believe Radha is there, preparing them for what's to come. It's nothing. I... <clears throat> I don't want to concern the others. Whatever Radha did at the Orrery, it connected the Grey Host to the Dark Heart. And that includes me. Like the souls of Markarth that the Heart consumed, a part of me is caught within the Void. I don't know. I can feel the Dark Heart's pulse. A throbbing that grows stronger as the Heart becomes more powerful. But it hasn't consumed me. In fact, like Arana and Lady Belaine, I may be able to draw upon it. Though I haven't attempted that yet. Investigate the Greyhost activity in the foothills north of Markarth, near Bathardams. Fenorian will meet you there. Gwendis and I will return to the Orrery in Arkthazand. Join us once you uncover Radha's plans. It's clear the Orrery plays an integral part in Radha's plans, but the specifics elude me. The Dark Heart, the Orrery, the Harrow Storms, they are all connected. Smaller pieces of a much grander scheme. Of that much I'm certain. I need to learn more. Ard Kadok and his people carry on, and life continues. The deaths, though, the soul has been ripped from this place. They still don't fully comprehend what happened. I doubt they ever will. Ah, here's one whose report we need. What do you say? When the dark storm blows through the void, everything we lost will be returned, even your lives. Verandas is little birds. Give him my best. Damn it! I knew we should have attacked when we had the chance. My orders were to wait, Lyris. At least Rada left something in his haste. Wait, is that you, partner? Could have used you a moment sooner. What? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. I was fixated on this trinket. When Verandas said he would send someone, I assumed he meant Adusa. We weren't supposed to make a move, but Lyris feared we'd miss our chance. I don't think we ever had one, but don't tell her that. Other than I think it belonged to Rada al Saran, I sense a powerful magic has been cast on the item. Oromancy. I recognize it. The technique is remarkably similar to what Verandas uses. 
Not surprising, I suppose. They were friends once, after all. Well, after their defeats in Western Skyrim and the Reach, the Grey Host has regrouped. The ancient Exarchs have arrived and asserted their control over the newer troops. We also intercepted a courier a few days ago. He carried a coded message. My command of ancient Yokudin is elementary at best. I assumed it had something to do with Harrowstorms, until Radha al-Saran mentioned this dark storm. I think he's planning something massive. More massive even than the storm over Solitude. Count Verandis said that. That he wants us to come meet him. All of us. Including me. Oh, I must put my notes in order. Wash the grime from... everything. Sorry, could you talk to Lyris for a moment? I need to gather my thoughts. Do I? <laughs> yes, well, I... I suppose it's only natural. I'm returning from my first real assignment and haven't seen Count Verandas since... Well, it was long before I started to investigate the Grey Host. I want to do him proud. Who doesn't look up to the person that's, for all intents and purposes, their father? Count Verandas made me a part of his noble house. I want to be worthy of that and uphold the ideals of the Raven Watch. And besides, I've missed my family. Amazingly so. I assisted Svana, Jarl, Svana, for a while, helping old Mjolin and the Mages Guild produce as much of the Harrowstorm elixir as we could. But I couldn't linger there forever. I've been tracking the Grey Host ever since. No. Though I'm hopeful Count Verandas can find something in this coded letter. He's better at ancient languages than I am. I was able to find this meeting site, and I know the Grey Host forces have regrouped under the command of the ancient Exarchs. This trinket Radha al Saran left behind. It radiates a magical residue similar to what Verandas leaves behind when he casts Oromancy. Perhaps you've seen him use it to draw memories from the past. I wonder why Radha al Saran left it here. Is that Count Verantis? A soul's ability to travel among infinite planes of existence is equally boundless. Ben, what did you do? Souls can go anywhere. Imagine if they had the freedom to choose their destination, or even return to life. It's the Auromancy. We're seeing an image of the past. I was this close to finally planting my axe in Radha al Saran's face. If Fen hadn't insisted we wait for his Raven Watch friends, that monster wouldn't have slipped through our fingers. Again! You're still on the hunt for him too, I see. When Fen got his orders to investigate the Grey Host, I invited myself along. Sorry about my temper. It's just that we've been shadowing these bastards for a while, and it looked like the opportunity to strike was finally at hand. Well, Fen's the one keeping notes, but Radha al Saran gathered his subordinates and remaining forces here. It's clear he's preparing to make a move, so Fen sent word to the Raven Watch. I just wish we knew more about this dark storm Radha mentioned. I don't see how we figure out where Radha al Saran went from here. Let's hope this Count Verandis of yours is as smart as Fen claims. Possibly. And I've seen Ice Reach Coven witches among the Grey Host troops. After we dealt with Svargrim and shattered the Grey Host's hold on Western Skyrim, it looks like Radha moved his operation to this part of the world. It was slow going. But the concoction he and old Mjolin produced was the only reason the Holds were able to start fighting back. Even after we stopped Radha al Saran's plan in solitude, I don't think the Western Holds would have survived without it. Alive and well. She's taken to her role as Jarl of Solitude far better than anyone imagined. The people love her. There's new life in the Hold despite all that's happened. I admit, I'm hopeful for the future too, provided we stop Radha al Saran. I saw it. I don't know what it was, but I saw it. 
It didn't set you on fire, so as far as mysterious magic goes, I'd count your blessings. Was that the illustrious Count Ravenwatch I've heard so much about? Well, let's not keep the real one waiting. He escaped, Count. But we intercepted this letter. A moment, Fenorian. The darkness has passed. Well done acquiring this letter. Never mind the pat on the back, Lorandis. What happened? Yes, nothing. A distraction. Our friend has arrived, and we must not waste any time. The Dark Heart. The episodes grow more frequent. Each time the currents swell, it's like I'm losing myself to the darkness. We must uncover Rada's plans before that happens. Perhaps this coded message will tell us more about the Darkstorm. I see that Rodda has employed his mother tongue to obscure the message, but I remember his language, and the Greyhost ciphers well. This... This isn't a dispatch. It's a letter... to me. No, he... He's trying to persuade me. Convince me that his path is the right one. Prove to me that the dream we once shared is within reach. The letter outlines, in essence, the recipe for Rada's dark storm. Not in and of itself. He wants me to follow in his footsteps. To see what he did and learn the truth of what he promises. In doing so, however, I will discover how to stop it. He's bearing his throat to me, confident I will not bite, but I must! I must seek a place in the Reach where the land was sundered from Tamriel. Then I must study the void through night hollow eyes. And finally, I must learn about keystones in Badar Zell. In my current state, I. <clears throat> I don't trust myself. Will you go in my stead? I leave the course of the journey up to you, but these three will go ahead to assist you. Lyris to Understone Keep, Gwendis to the Night Hollow Archives, and Fenorian to Badarzel. I'm sorry to put this all upon your shoulders, but it's better that I remove myself from this journey. You can see what Rada intends to show me with impartial eyes. Learn the secrets of the Darkstorm, and together, will unravel Rodder's plans. That's a distinct possibility, but I don't believe Rodder intends to kill me. At least not yet. He has something to prove. That need will stay his hand better than any armor. We don't have the luxury of ignoring his invitation in any case. Rodder is a prideful man. When I deserted the Grey Host, it wounded him deeply. He wants to prove that I was wrong to doubt him. What he doesn't understand is that I never doubted what he could accomplish. <clears throat> I just feared what it would cost. If this is a trap, you're the one walking into it. But if he does return to the orrery while you're gone, I will buy whatever time I can. Until then, there are things I also need to accomplish. I'll study the heart and the orrery. Try to learn enough so that we can make use of whatever you discover when the time comes. I will also examine my own condition. I must ascertain that I can control this darkness and not be controlled by it. Uh, yes, of course. Rada didn't reveal everything in his letter, but if there's something I can answer for you, I will. That one is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. But Rada provided a clue. He said it was a place in the Reach. Who better to ask about locations in this part of the world than Ard Kadic? Meet Lyris and Markarth and seek the Ard's counsel. I can only speculate, but we know the Night Hollow clan had an intimate connection to the Void through the Dark Heart. It makes sense they studied it over the many years that it sustained them. I noticed an archive in their keep when we were there. Yes, 
See what secrets they gathered at the height of their power. I only hope that the Archive has weathered the centuries better than the Night Hollow clan themselves. We know Rada needed a keystone to enter this chamber and calibrate the orrery to the Dark Heart. Go to Bithar Zell. Fenorian will help you discover whatever secret awaits there concerning the Dwarven Keystones. I'll answer them as best I can, but every moment we delay puts us another pace behind Rada. Over here. Night Hollow Keep is just ahead. Night Hollow Keep is down this path. The Archive should be right inside. In writings we recovered from Lady Belaine, she mentioned a Night Hollow Testament. That's probably what we're looking for. Just watch yourself. The place is locked down tight. Well, it's crawling with Night Hollow vampires. Not just the mindless spooky kind. Looks like some of them got recharged when the Dark Heart woke up. They patrol the outer wall in shifts. One door in and out. It's locked, but they carry keys. You got it. I haven't been able to keep track of their comings and goings, so there's no telling which vampires have the keys. Attacking them could attract unwanted attention. If you want to find a more discreet way past that wall, by all means. Remember, get keys off the patrolling vampires or find another way to get inside. Either way, let's get into the archive. Find this Night Hollow Testament and get back to Verandas, all right? I'll scout around on my own and catch up to you. Rada al Saran wants Verandas to study the void through Night Hollow Eyes, right? According to Lady Belaine's writings, the secrets to harnessing the Dark Heart's power, void power, could be found in the pages of that book. It's perfectly obvious. No, but we didn't find it after you killed Lady Belaine. We know she didn't completely trust Rada al Saran. So where else could she be leaving it for safekeeping? If it's not here, I don't know where else it would be. That's a Grey Host Pentarch, probably after the same thing as us. What's that beside him? That wasn't as difficult as I expected. Now let's enter the Archive. As far as libraries go, the lighting in here is terrible. Hey, I bet that's what we came for. That's done. Hey, why is this trinket over here glowing? Oh, gods. I can't get the smell of her blood off my hands. It was a mercy. You know that. I ruined her, Rodda, body and soul. I played God and Lysolda paid the price. I'm a damned fool. A fool once told me there is no such thing as damnation. Only souls who have lost hope. That's not fair, Rodda. You said it with such conviction I could not argue. You have not forgotten our promise, I hope. We'll seek salvation together. Thank you, Rodda. Verandas keeps everyone at arm's length. Is this why?
I made some interesting discoveries while I was waiting. Bitharzel is more intact than the few other dwarven ruins I visited. I spotted a chamber that appears related to the Keystones. But more intact doesn't mean completely intact. The path ahead is blocked. Therein lies the problem. My vampiric abilities make traversal somewhat trivial, but you can't follow. I do believe I've come up with a solution, though. Potentially. Theoretically. I noted numerous void portals scattered around Bathar Zell. I understand you and Verandas encountered them before. I'm no expert on teleportation, but these should allow you to navigate the ruins and pick out a safe path. May I suggest trying to reach the void portal at the top of that tower first? It seems like a good vantage point to survey the layout of this ruin. I'm sure you'll figure out a way past the blockage in no time. As Verandas explained it to me, the Void Portals sort of pull you toward their location. So finding a viable path across should just be a matter of trial and error. Assuming there's a Void Portal near our destination, you should have no problem. It worked! I mean, of course it worked. I'll be waiting on the other side. I had every confidence you wouldn't get sucked into some boundless void. The repository is just through this door. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. This looks like some kind of manufacturing equipment. Here. This resembles your keystone, doesn't it? The parts, anyway. 
I... What's this? More of Radha al Saran's oromancy, I suspect. This is feasible. No, Radha, merely a possibility, but the soul binding required. We can save our kindred from Cold Harbor's torment, and you quibble over the cost? Is your heart so cold? Even if you returned our kindred to life, Molag Ball's claim to their souls would remain. Our contracts are inviolable. Another obstacle to overcome. You think the Prince of Domination is merely an obstacle? Rodder, listen to yourself. Kneeling when I should have stood proud was the greatest mistake I ever made. I will not repeat it. Verandis was aware of this plan? And he was its architect. I thought Zingalis, one of Radha al Saran's exarchs, came up with the plan to return the Grey Host to life. But it was Verandis? Why didn't he tell us? Yes. And it's a darker story than we were led to believe. Not only was Verandis a member of the Grey Host, and a close confidant of Radha al Saran. He was also the architect of their rebirth. I hope he's truly ready to face him when the time comes. When we confront Radha al Saran, it must be the last time. When the moment comes to end this, there can be no doubt, no hesitation. My father has to be prepared to see this through. That's a discussion for later. We should leave this place. If you completed all three steps of the journey, head back to the Orrery. If not, meet Lyris at Understone Keep or Gwendis at the Night Hollow Archive. And let's get this done. I've got bad news and worse news. Kadok and I already exchanged words, most of them insults. The only agreement we came to was that he'd stop sending his stone hands to toss me out if I stopped breaking their noses. It wasn't a fight until he sent his stone hands against me. Wasn't much of one after that, come to think of it. We got as far as Sundered Land when he shouted something about Mana Marco and called up his personal guard. That's what I was trying to find out when Caddick got all angry and said something about my head and a pike on the wall. Look, you talk to him. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Markarth would be a ghost town if it wasn't for you. If that doesn't earn you the courtesy of an audience, I can go back to breaking noses. The Ard is in his throne room. We just need to know where to find the land sundered from Tamriel. According to Radha al Saran's letter, it's somewhere in the Reach. Oh, and I'm not apologizing. Not to Kadok, anyway. Sorry. Manamarco, Emperor Varen, Nord's Reachman, his flea-bitten beard. I can stomach insults hurled at me, but I couldn't stand there quietly as he spoke ill of Varen while praising that traitor Manamarco. Had my fill of Reeker's grace in my presence today. Seeing is how you shed blood for me. And mine, I'll give you my ear, but make it quick. My bile's up, and too much talk will likely make it churn. Ah, you speak with that half-giant's tongue. What business is it of yours? What I do with my land? I gave that parcel to Manamarco years ago. It was his to offer to Molagbal, as he pleased. Why dredge up such dealings now? I didn't know that was the elf's intent when I granted him the domain, but we honor Molagbal, just like all the great spirits. You won't find many here who deny an offering to a great spirit, no matter how grand. Mano Marco didn't call me confidant. When he departed, 
He said the failure here would far to success elsewhere. I never saw him again. If you want to know his mind, you'll have to see what he wrought yourself. I'll open the way for you. There's a lift in Nichuan cell that'll take you to the Sundered Land. I'll keep it sealed, for reasons that should be obvious, but I'll see your granted passage. Now, off you go, and take the prickly she-wolf with you. Not so long ago, rich folk ruled the Empire. We had our lands return, and dignity restored. Then... We were driven back into the mud by the usurper. Mana Marco pledged justice for my people if I gave him shelter. A dark spirit's bargain, to be sure. No. The usurper, Varen, lost his lands, his throne, and so much more. What Mana Marco promised me was given. If that don't sit well with you, I got no apologies to give. I can only tell you, that's where my dealings with the Worm King begin and end. Got the information we need? Good. This is our chance. Pity. I wanted Verandas to see this place for himself. They chipped off a hunk of this stone. If Rada al Saran went through the trouble, we might as well too. Hey, there's another memento here. Like the one Fenorian found near Bathar Dams. Those my notes? Hmm? Rondis, forgive me. As ever, your genius captivates me. I had no idea you made such progress. I'm still no closer to a viable solution. You're closer than you think. How can you know that? I discussed your findings with a new ally. They claim it will work. Only your trepidation holds us back. I... I thought you'd changed. That you sought penance. I won't participate in mass murder! Our dream is within reach, and you're still concerned for the mortals. Verandas! Verandas and Rada al-Saran seemed pretty friendly back in the day. Did you know about that? The past is ancient history. Rodder's intentions were to sway me back to his side. That's not good enough, Count. Why didn't you tell us that this was all your fault? Father, it wasn't just your research that let him revive the Grey Host. The actual procedure was your creation. You don't understand. Please tell me you found out more about the Darkstorm.
The others see conspiracies where there are none. Just past sins that I thought long buried. They say you found everything that Rado wanted me to discover. Tell me about the Sundered Land, the Night Hollow studies, and the secret of the Keystones. Remember the journey Rada sent me on. The one you took in my place. It was to follow in his footsteps. To see how he reached this moment in time. This stone, it, it's a shard of oblivion lost in our world. How would that help him save the Grey Host? To see the void through Night Hollow eyes. Yes, it's written in the tongue of the first vampires. I can read it, but barely. In addition to other things, this is basically a spellbook. It's full of rituals to appease and make use of the Dark Heart. Was the point to show me the inner workings of the mysterious Dwarven Keystones? We know Rada used one to link the Dark Heart's power to not only the Orrery, but to the Grey Host as well. I can feel the pull of the heart just thinking about it. What you discover doesn't tell us much about the Darkstorm, at least not yet. But the picture is beginning to form in my mind. Rodder's letter provided one more clue. He claims to have a laboratory inside this very structure. We just have to find it. The darkness crashes against my mind like waves slamming into the shore. It can be... distracting. I can function normally, with the occasional need to pause and let the sensation pass. I can't yet control the darkness, but I haven't been idle. Using my Auromancy, I turned the magic on the Orrery itself. I learned much about how the Orrery operates. It is quite fascinating. I also ascertained the approximate location of Rodder's laboratory, but a more thorough search is required. It's true that Rodder often relied on myself and later Zingalis to handle his research and experiments. But he wasn't without his own skills when it came to arcana and alchemy. I suppose, during his long isolation, he had to increase his aptitude. Who would remain behind that could stand against Rodda? I fear that even together we would be hard-pressed to stop him. We'll need every advantage for the end battle, should it come to that. Perhaps if I can learn how to call upon the darkness. Remain by your side as we search. I think we're getting close. A moment. I sense... Rodder has been this way. Careful! That Night Hollow Vampire radiates with the power of the Dark Heart. Vengeance for Lady Belay!
Rodder's laboratory. I see he's adopted Zingalis' methods. Yes, this is it. I can feel the echoes of Rodder's work here. Rodder has taken my research in directions I never imagined. Dwemer machines, night hollow rites, reach witchcraft, all arrayed around that pedestal. Yes, I'm beginning to see how the pieces you retrieved fit together. He's building a bridge through the void. The Oblivion Shard serves as a lodestone to point to his destination, but Cold Harbor is precisely the place he would want to avoid. Rodder has always sought to escape Molag Ball's hold on his soul. Cold Harbor is the place where Ball's power is absolute. It makes no sense, unless Cold Harbor isn't his destination. We gather the others. We need to recreate Rodder's ritual. Fenorian will reproduce the Reach alchemy while Gwendis performs the Night Hollow rites. You must manage the Dwemer machines controlling the tonal, etheric, and kinetic energies. I will attempt to scry the stone and direct you accordingly. These Dwemer devices, they are similar to pieces of the orrery itself. They manipulate various cosmic forces, tonal, etheric, and kinetic, to chart the expanse of the void. You must keep these forces under control for my scrying to succeed. The components you retrieved from Bathar Zell showed me that the keystones consist of these same sorts of devices, just on a smaller scale. As I conduct the ritual, I'll indicate what parts of the process require your intervention. Be on your toes. Rodder pointed us to the means and method of recreating his work. There's something he wants for me to see here. And I believe the only way to truly understand what he's done is by repeating it ourselves. I only hope the risk is... We are attempting to harness forces never intended to be combined to peer into the infinite churning chaos we call the Void. I only suggest we try because it appears Rodder has proven it can be done. Besides, we have no other choice. Now to begin, start by adding etheric power. Now, quickly! I need more kinetic power! Now! Some tonal energy! The Reach Ritual! It's catalyzing too quickly! Quickly, help Fenorian! We're losing kinetic energy! I need more! Need an influx of etheric power. Wendis needs your help with the Night Hollow Rite. Adjust the tonal frequency quickly. We almost have it, just a little more. I'm losing control of it. Reduce the kinetic energy. The Night Hollow Rite is surging. Help Gwendis. The tonal harmonics are in discord. Change the output. Dufenorian, we'll need the alchemical reaction soon. Recalibrate the etheric power. It's too little. The kinetic mechanism is off balance. Set it right. We're close. To help Gwendis with the Night Hollow right once more. Catalyze the Reach Alchemy now!
Initiate a tonal cascade and hang on! I can see it! I can see everything! Rodda found it. A piece of land sundered from the reach, caught between Mundus and Oblivion. It is both and neither outside the grasp of Baal, or any prince for that matter. He plans to gift the Grey Hosts with his sanctuary. Don't you see? In their own realm, free from Molag Baal's tyranny, the Grey Host can live forever. And with the connection to Mundus and the power of the Dark Heart, their conquests might never end. And now I see the purpose of the Dark Storm. The Dark Heart. Rodus drawing on its power. I, I can feel it tearing away. To the Orrery. Hurry. To the Orrery. Hurry. Stop! Don't make me fight you! This is the chance you never thought possible! The door to our salvation stands open, Verandis. Come, finish what we started. All will be forgiven. <sighs> Rada, don't do this! The void energy is consuming you, Verandis. I can show you how to control it. Just follow me! What happened? Where'd the bastard go this time? He's gone, Lyris. To the one place where he can complete his plan. I understand it all clearly now. Rodda has opened the gateway to his sanctuary. In that distant realm, he can summon his dark storm using the power of the Dark Heart. He'll consume the Reach to fulfill his promise. No. Not good at all. The Dark Storm requires power on an unprecedented scale. Darkness that will cover the Reach and send every mortal soul it touches into the Dark Heart. In turn, the power of the Heart will flow through the Orrery to feed the Storm. It will tear the Grey Host from Molag Bol's clutches and preserve them for eternity in his sanctuary realm. Death will become as much a petty inconvenience to them as to any Daedra. They will become truly immortal. To end the Dark Storm once it's begun, I need to enter Rada's sanctuary realm and take control of the ritual. I can't ask you to join me, but I won't dissuade you if your course is set. Just know that I can't guarantee we'll be able to return. Rodda showed us the door, and we forged the key. I have to follow. I have to stop the Dark Storm, for as you have seen from Rodda's Oromancy, this monstrosity is my creation. Whether you decide to accompany me or not, know that I value our friendship. Rada has started the ritual in his sanctuary realm. I can feel the pull in the darkness. Soon the dark storm will consume the energy in the dark heart. Then more people of the Reach will die to feed the heart and power this apocalyptic storm. Rada aligned the orrery in order to make his escape. Use the keystone on the dwarven mechanisms that control it. That should open a breach we can travel through. Then, maybe, I'll have a chance to stop this storm I created. I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. 
Will my research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths? I abandoned it. I should have also destroyed it. Roger corrupted it for his own ends. When you're ready, activate the mechanisms on each of those platforms in sequence. This process should be less risky than what we attempted earlier, I believe. Rudder has already aligned the device to point to our destination. Theoretically, we need only reactivate the orrery to open the gateway. Be on your guard, nevertheless.